If you hear music in the background, other than the music that I'm playing, um, that's coming from my brother's room. So, yeah. Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm in my living room because my brother's playing music upstairs and his room is right next to mine. So we're in the living room today. Um, so today at school, one of my friends was teasing me about my fear of heights and it reminded me of this one story so I'm going to tell you about it. It's about the time that I got kicked out of an elevator. So this was not quite four years ago. The beginning of grade 12 but like June of 2013. On my grade 8 grad trip, as did many people in my grade 8 graduating class, and like it was a three day trip, I believe, three days, two nights, and one of the things we did was going shopping, even though that's not really a, an activity, but we did it that we, we went to the mall, okay? That was one of our scheduled activities. So we went to the mall, and they had some nice clothes there and stuff, but like all the best stores were on like the higher levels. Like the higher up you went, the better the stores got. And like on the fifth level of the mall, this was a big mall, it's like a five level mall. On the fifth level of this mall, there was like this like, I don't know, panoramic window, if that's what you'd call it. Like it's a window and then it goes around like the entire mall and you can like see outside from every angle if you walk around the whole floor. So that was really cool. But I'm afraid of heights. And the way this mall was, at least the way I remember it. This was a long time ago. But yeah, like imagine if you have a bunch of donuts stacked on top of each other. That's what this mall was. So like even if you were on floor five, you can look over the balcony and see floor one because all of them were like rings and they were all lined up. So you could be on the top level and you can see the bottom level if you look over the railing. That's how this mall was designed. Okay, so I was with my friends and we were going, I don't remember which show we were going to, but we went on the escalator. And that's another thing. I don't know about you, but like getting on and off of escalators is just a whole other thing, but whatever. So we went on the escalator and I'm like clutching for dear life. And then we get to the second floor. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. And then we went up to the third floor. And like the thing about escalators is like, you can see yourself getting further and further away from the ground and especially because of the way this mall was designed I was going up to floor 3 but I could still see floor 1 so it was like I'm getting further and further away and so we got to floor 3 I think I bought like a dress or something and my friends were like oh we want to go up to the 5th floor we want to go to the window we want to see everything we're in a new city and I'm just like I can't go up there and I was like, they're like, no, you should just go. I'm like, no, I actually can't. Like, there's there's no way I, I'm getting up there. And so one of my friends actually understood my fear. And she was like, okay, we'll go back down to the first level. So I'm like, yeah, I can't take the escalator back down to the first level because I, I just don't like escalators. Like, no, there's too much risk. You can fall over the side. Has it ever happened? I don't know, but... No. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I wanted to go back down the elevator because I know that some people have fears of elevators, but I don't because you're in an enclosed space. You can't fall off an elevator. So, I wanted to go in the elevator. So, we went in the elevator and there was this woman in there and she had like a gigantic stroller, like one of those strollers that has like five million compartments so that you could have everything you're child may need like right there because there's a million and six compartments okay so it was her and then this giant stroller and then me and my friend and so we were on the third level and then we hit first level but then it went down to the second level and the doors open and there were probably I'd say four or five other women with strollers who wanted to come in but they couldn't because it was full and they, they didn't, those women, the women who couldn't get on, they were like, oh, it's okay, we'll, be, we'll wait for the next one. Like, they were so nice about it. And then, so the doors closed, and then the woman who was in there with us, but turned to me and my friend, 
and she was like if you two were in here then those women would have been able to get onto the elevator this is this elevator is not for you this elevator is for people who are disabled and people who have strollers and all this stuff and I'm like I completely understand that I know that that's not necessarily I know that I'm not what an elevator is for but at the same time I would have been stranded like this woman doesn't know me I would have been stranded on level three if I did not get into that elevator she doesn't understand and so she was getting all upset at me and I there are lots of things I think but don't say because it's just like my parents always taught me you should always think about what you say before you say it so I thought about it and then realized I shouldn't say it because she was like an old she was not old but she was an my elder and she was she was right but whatever and so but I'm just thinking in my head okay you are a bigger woman because you just had a baby like and then you have this gigantic stroller and then you have four other women who are bigger because they just had babies and they also have these gigantic strollers and so like it was her her giant stroller and me and my friend who are skinny people and the four of us were like up against the wall of the elevator like this this was a small elevator so i'm like do you really think that if us two skinny human beings walked out of the elevator that any of those people would have gotten in this elevator is literally only capable of carrying the four of us i'm like if we were in here none of those women would have been able to come in anyways i'm like why do you think that if we left that 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 four women plus their four strollers plus you makes five five women and five strollers can fit in this elevator if these two like 100 pound girls get out no <laughs> that's not gonna happen and then so i think the doors opened again and then me and my friend were just like you know what let's just get off so then we walked off the elevator like this whole conversation happened, but the elevator didn't go back to level one. I don't know why. But yeah, so the doors opened again. So then we just walked out onto level two. And then tell me why when we got off, none of the other women went into the elevator. Because guess what? They couldn't fit. And so I don't remember how I got back down to level one. I don't know if I waited for a different elevator or... If I took the escalator, I probably didn't do that. But I don't know. I, I got back down to level one. If I didn't, I'd probably still be stranded on level two to this day. But yeah, I somehow, and I, for some reason I can't remember, I, somehow I got back down to level one and then we finished our trip and I came home and now it's three years later and I'm telling you this story. So yeah, that's the story of the time that I got kicked off an elevator, me and my friend got kicked off an elevator for for not for for doing nothing. We did nothing wrong. We were just in an elevator and apparently that's against the rules. But yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did give it a thumbs up, all my social media links will be down below in case you want to follow me on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday. If you would like to see more of me, subscribe to my vlog channel because I upload there every day. And I'll see you on this channel next Monday.